This, this video is about reprogramming the XT3000 AutoSharp controller and one of the first things that we need to know is what COM port your computer is using that's going to be uh, connected up to the serial programmer. So I'm going to go into the uh, device manager through the control panel uh, system hardware device manager and I'm going to look under ports double click on ports and you see that the uh, USB to serial COM port is set at COM3 and that's really all I know, need to know about I'm using this USB to serial converter that is supplied with uh, most of our um, XPS 16s and I think I also sent you one Heiner so that if you don't have a computer with a serial port then you can use this device. Okay, so we can actually use the um, control module here to power itself up. So by connecting the two pigtails together and plugging in a power cord, we can now um, access and power up the whole unit. I'm going to use an ESD strap so because I'm going to be touching some of the electronics inside and that's the preferred method. So you can open up the, um, the display head, rotate it around, and you can see that I've uh, plugged in my serial cable into this programming module. And I'm going to assume that you followed the directions that we sent you to install the uh, programming utility for this Silicon Labs uh, serial programmer module. I'm going to hook this in here the programming cable I'm going to power this up and then I'm going to open the utility and it's going to come up to the uh, connect and disconnect tab in the menu and notice that the COM port is incorrect it should be number three I'm going to go to three here and uh, the EC2 right here should be checked. And then now you should be able to go and say connect. And it says connected. And then I'm ready to go to the uh, download hex file. And I want to make sure that it says erase all code space before download. Check this. And then I'm going to browse to where we have the hex file, which is the, the new software that we're going to uh, be downloading. I'm going to look here. It's on actually on my desktop and it's auto version 1014.hex is the uh, newest hex file. So now I'm ready to download. I can press the download button. And it's going to take about um, oh, 45 seconds for it to rewrite everything and program it. Complete, so now I'm going to accept that. I'm going to go back to the connect disconnect tab and I am going to now disconnect and it says disconnected and now I can power off um, the whole unit. Unplug the programming cable. Snap this back together. Tighten the screws down. Power it back up. Go to settings. Scroll down to software version. Accept that. And you can see that the software version has been updated to the 1014 version. That should